Uh, Mr. Ben, why do you always pick now? <laughs> um, welcome on in, everyone. I have a bean who just decided that my lap is the place to be. Um, let's get the announcements sent out. Very, very creative announcement today. I'm kind of tired, but... Like, I'm not feeling poorly, I'm just feeling tired. Um, Twitter is a thing. Okay. <laughs> you guys hear the bean purse? What a happy boy. Um, we've still got this on. We did this on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Am I counting days appropriately? We've had this on for six days. I haven't popped any peelies. Whoa. Did, did the Clark trigger pup time? Or did pup time just say hello? I don't know. Hi, pup time. If you're here. <clears throat> Hi, baby. Hey, birdie. Um Okay, I did I did a tweet, I did a Discord. We've got uh Mr. Bean. Stop that. We've got this boy. Um I'm a little bit later than I wanted, but I have several very good excuses. But the best one is uh, as I was getting ready, I was like, stop. Where did I put the power adapter for my camera? And I, I set it up and I made sure that it worked. And uh, we won't have to worry about switching the battery today. I feel so fucking... <laughs> like a mixture between pro and also like you could have done this years ago, literally. Um, also, hello, CZ, Melrose, Daggett, hello. Oh, did you use the secret emote? I had it for a while. I don't have, I see it now. You can mouse over it. I don't have a, I don't have a pub time sub anymore though. The pat is also a blessed emote. <clears throat> emote. Uh, yeah, my head is a lot cleared up, Daggett. So that way, yes. I mean, still normally just like, I would like some more sleep, but you know, meh. <laughs> Kitty, hello. Flamingo, welcome. Hi, Bane. He's such a nice boy. Who's so nice? Yeah, more sleep is more better. Hi. Hey, Stella. So I was saying, uh, I haven't popped any peelies. And we're on day six of this manicure, if I'm counting correctly and remembering what day I did it correctly. Hi, Mr. Payne. Hello, you are such a good boy. Oh, the headbutts of love. Your animals ever just do that to you? Just like fucking headbutt you in the most adorable way. Hey, Yarn for you. Welcome. And such a nice Mr. Bane. <laughs> yeah, we got some really loud purrs today. Are you just gonna get comfy right here between me and the keyboard tray? <laughs> just to make sure there's plenty of fur in the entire general vicinity before we get started on any manicure. Is that the plan? Hey, 
Hey, Izzy. Ooh, a beanie treat. Silly boy. Let me get those chin scratches. Oh, baby, you're so fucking cute. I love you. He's a good boy. Mm. Hey, Jam. Hey, Trina. Um. Yeah, he's a good baby. Um So yeah, I have a, I have two ideas. One for for the water marble today once we do peelies. <laughs> what? Hi. We we I know we, we just could spend so much time just petting Baney, but we're going to have to move on from Baney eventually, sir. Um what hey oat. Um and I hope I didn't miss anyone. Flamingo. Twenty months of being posing SLP low. Thank you so much for the twenty months. I know he he literally like I pushed the button and he climbed into my lab. He knows. Somehow he knows. Um <clears throat> one of my ideas I'm cautious and, and kind of skeptical of whether it's going to work and my other idea I'm pretty pretty certain it's going to work you like can't see him at all in the bean cam anymore but he's like well there are some whiskers but you can see him more in the hand cam I don't think I can open this anymore though yeah no not the way that's mounted which is in very jank fashion oh are you leaving you're just moving maybe we should put you back in your chair and then we can give you a treat how about that? How about that? He's such a good boy. Who's this good boy? It's a good shot of how his most of his whiskers are, are gray rather than white. Okay, Bane. We're gonna put you back in your chair now. Benny. Good boy. Oh, three treats. Yeah, no. Sit. Mmm. <laughs> Beanie-inspired water marble. Shades of gray. Ooh. Okay, Mr. Bean. Can we see your tummy? <laughs> what a nice little tummy. Slowly. And wave, wave, come on, yeah, good boy. <laughs> He's a very smart boy. Trees are gone. Can I pet you? What were you just looking at? That was a very distinct, like he saw something. Like, is there a spider, Bainey? What did you look at? Da, da, da. <laughs> uh, um, oh, and one more from Melrose, too. Thank you. Also, Karoshi, hello. Oh, you're ready to do it this time, huh? Wave. Yeah, wave.
wave. Good boy. That counts. That's that's close enough. Mm. I mean, we've had all kinds of of vermin interruptions, shall we say? Like legit. I mean, Bean has brought me live mice during stream more than once. There have been spiders. There have been fucking June bugs or cicadas or like fucking dude, man. Let's let's not be, knock on wood. We're not jinxing anything. <laughs> oh, another pet. He's like, what pets instead of treats? I don't know about this. My hands are empty, sir. Mm. Hey, son. Ooh, migraine. Having just experienced apparently one of my first ever, like, I don't know if it was sinus or what, but like that head congestion thing was like very unpleasant. I don't, I don't think I would deal well with migraine, so I hope you feel better soon. Also a pet from Kiroshi. Yeah. Are these pets just your due say this is what I deserve you hear something you gonna go check it out maybe um so look at look at how well this war you guys peel off base and we have not lost any peelies on okay did did I do this on Saturday question mark llama I love it here I love nuts.com. I love Mr. Bean Open. Happy seven months. Mm. What are we going to call our Twitch baby? Oh goodness, it is getting close to that time of decision. <laughs> Thank you so much for the seven months, Llama. Yeah, oh yeah, there's I I don't I don't know if there even are after the first time. It's like nobody's phased except for me. Y'all are just like, oh Beanie. <laughs> um hey cookie welcome and vex hello um okay so saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday six days with peel off base coat you guys i'm pretty impressed in <laughs> the third trimester yeah Hey, Kuro, thank you so much for the gift sub. Vex, enjoy the emotes. Um, there will be more soon. I was just talking the other day. I actually counted how many more slots I still have. And it's like, it's somewhat intimidating, but it'll, it'll all eventually be filled. I would rather like take my time I mean even already I have some that are just like placeholders all right so I wonder if I'm gonna have trouble peeling this considering how how on here it is very itchy ear there sir yeah the pinky's a little bit tough <clears throat> nice Melrose the work lurk all right Kuro whoa another a J with the gift sub and J as the conductor on the scam chooch okay that I really want to have good peelies because I really liked this manicure uh congratulations cookie enjoy your emotes no I mean so I don't know I will probably get rid of pet the midwife before I get rid of well, it's not Pet the Midwife, it's MSLP Midwife, but... Scam me Daddy Bezos. <laughs> um, Egu and Midwife are both on BTTV, and I'll probably upload them to 7TV too, because why not? Um, Midwife in particular, I don't think it's too much use outside of my channel. So I don't know if it continues to make sense as a sub emo, but people seem to really like Egu, so... Egg you might stick around. Also, um, thank you for the bits, you guys. Uh, 
Katie and Owen. Um, <laughs> and Katie again with the 300. Holy crap. Um, and also gargling. I mean, gargling was kind of intended to maybe be a placeholder, but it actually works so well. I don't know. Ben train. The, the Ben train. <laughs> He's a, oh my goodness, you're taking care of some very personal business over there, Mr. Bain. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for the bits, Mel. Um, Jinx, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Also, Cookie, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, we, so for anybody who didn't see, we did these live on stream on Saturday. And we're hopefully going to do something just as cool today. But the first two of Water Marble March, although I've been very, very happy with them, have both been kind of happy accidents. And you can't plan for happy accidents, right? They, that, then they wouldn't be accidents. So I have a plan and we'll see if it goes according to plan. Or if we have... <laughs> if we have another change of, change of plans purple and gray ham um <laughs> yeah his it, when he has his little legs up they are just like little like drumsticks um wh where was I going with this oh so okay and both both manicures started out with like okay we're gonna keep it simple because like that's usually the easier route with water marbling so I have two simple ideas but I kind of want to see if any of the muse polishes will, will marble um <clears throat> aww thank you so much cookie I appreciate that yeah yeah Bob Ross style one time somebody called me the Bob Ross of nail art and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but like happy accidents really do happen. Like sometimes it's just like, well. And then the only thing is you gotta figure out how to do it on purpose. <clears throat> okay. And uh, I mentioned at the very start my camera is wired the tutorial camera is not running on batteries right now you guys fucking imagine imagine <laughs> fucking imagine that'd be hilarious this is not this one is not gonna peel well this pinky I can I can tell maybe I can still get it in one piece though yeah there we go this I think should come up pretty well oh that's like perfect perfect peely mm. oh there it goes oh these peelies are coming off so nice I real I don't it, I don't know which one I like better. I mean the purple one was purple. And I was kind of disappointed in the right hand of that one. This is not my favorite green. And there are some nails I had like a slight unhappiness with the dip. But I might this one might, I might actually like even better than the purple one. Maybe. They're both very good in any case. So we have to do another really good job today. Thank you for the scam train, you guys. Um, wait, a lost order? Oh no. <laughs> Chooch. Um, yeah. Every peely. 
Love that. All right. Oops, dropped one. Um. That was a little peely bit that I probably should have left alone. I really probably did that stain my nails a little bit. Almost forgot to stop recording there also. I'm absent-minded apparently. And this maybe it's hard to tell if I should patch this or not. This patch is almost grown out. I feel like that green stained my nails a little bit. Not excessively, but a little bit. Mm. Oh, I love it when people find it co cozy here. Naki, welcome. Crystal, hello. Yeah, he's <laughs> such a cute boy. That's that's the part of my idea that I think will probably go pretty smoothly. Although I'm not sure if all the all the polishes I pulled will go smoothly. The blue idea for the Muse polish, like the thing is, so glitter polishes generally don't spread well or or draw well for water marbling, but these aren't actually glitters they just have glitters and flakies in them where so like I wonder which ones would be best if I wanted to try and attempt to water marble with them and this is the black swatches of them I suppose I could get out the red swatches too. Like we'd want some contrast. And we kind of went through this same thing when we were figuring out uh, when we did the over black manicure that turned out to be a little bit more of a hassle than we thought it was going to be. Um, maybe something. Mm, like if I do that then it's probably best to keep that in like earth tones I could maybe have another one that was like blue or green tones like is it this one and this one yeah mm. or maybe even add the brown in on these I'm sorry I'm like off camera like a color palette like that, or else maybe a color orange stick down. Um, oh, focus. Camera, please. Uh, like that would be kind of like earth toned and nice, and that would be kind of like more of a green blue type of a vibe. Maybe even could add in. Uh, is it, is it this? This one, maybe? Especially considering if I'm going over or this blue. I, like, I'm considering doing these, like, over a darker color. Hmm. This one also might fit into like a water marble of these tones. This one maybe. Is it this? Yeah, Oatly. Maybe that would go here. I don't know. I yeah, I think I like those. Um Teal and copper? You mean like like these two? Or like these two? Or do you mean... I don't know. Dryad, welcome. Oh, 
Oh, that's so cool, Crystal. <laughs> hey, kitten, welcome. Oh, the teal and copper on Beanie's chair. It's gold. It's a dark gold, though. Copper would maybe be interested, though. It's like, it's like a very, very warm gold. I don't... I think I might have marbled with this before, but I don't remember if it actually went well or not. So, okay. So this is what I'm thinking Muse Polish. The other ones... that I had out. Oh, um, well, I'll deal with that in a second. So I started thinking like blue. I was like blue, blue, blue. Some of these are a little elderly. Um, Ogre the top blue. No room for the blues. Uh, what's with the catitude? Susie says feng shui. Mm. And then I was like, well, what about like a different like texture? And I don't know that like creams are more likely to work with each other than when you start adding in other finishes. But I also pulled out my fave wave. Uh... I'm an aquaholic. It's kind of an insensitive name, is it? Am I being overly sensitive? Am I just like overly thinking it? I'm not offended, but I feel like that's not a very good name for a nail polish. Uh, and into the night. And then I also was like, well, what if I want to make it like oceany? And I was like, well, then like that would add like a white like a sandy color but then what if the sand was like gold um so alpine snow is opi's white and i also pulled out my boyfriend scales walls which is actually light gray but could stand in if it works better with the other polishes and then i was like well also what about silver i don't know if this will marble though unfrost my heart like that would go good if it works and then what is this? Oh, light my sapphire. This looks probably black on camera, but it's actually like very dark blue. What the hell is on my hoodie? I need to stick this in the wash. Okay, don't mind that. <laughs> but, um, and then the golds are golden eye. Uh, which like I said, I feel like maybe I've used before. I, I suppose I could just like look. Uh, Bling Dynasty. I know I've used that before for sure. And uh, Dazzled by Gold, which is also kind of like on the glittery side. Mm. Yeah, but like chocolate, like chocoholic sounds further away from it than, you know what I'm saying? You change like one syllable. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't know. Like, it's just like, it's not the aholic part I have a problem with. It's that it's like so close. Like I said, I don't even know that I have a problem with it. It just strikes me as not necessarily good PR. I don't know. So, gosh, this is. Like when I have them all pulled out like this, this is actually like a lot of polishes. Toby. I was just thinking the other day, I don't get to watch you very often cause you're on so like early and I know it's not like normal people early time, but it's early for me. I hope you're doing well. Hope your little, your little green bean babies are doing well. I saw those on Instagram. <laughs> Bot spot with the attempt. Um, welcome on in, everyone. I'm Colette. We just uh, took off my manicure, and now we're planning a new manicure that hopefully, hopefully, lives up to the hype. <laughs> hey, shy. 
I hope you're doing well. Um, we have this kind of blue and gold and white beachy sort of a vibe. And then we have like dark earthy jellies and flakies type of a vibe. I'm really curious if the Muse polish will water marble. So I think we're gonna just like fucking try it. I'm like the the week kind of was like I mean it wasn't horrible but I wasn't feeling very well so it kind of was like I took days off and I didn't feel very good about it because I wasn't productive on my days off but I'm feeling better so I guess the week is looking up also zero wolf hello okay um I actually like these new little papers these were like pack I wish I could even remember what they were packing in they're like slightly heavier than just a receipt um where is my my killer thank you for the follow hello so I think we're probably Gosh, how many tests am I going to need to do here? I mean, if I do the Muse polish just in the ones that I had laid out, that's at least two, if not three. FYI, eating better is very productive. <laughs> but, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Thanks. This, you know, such a disorganized disaster person. I just feel like I should <laughs> step my shit up and get it together. I don't know. Um, hey Tahiti. We are, you know what? We're not bad. I'm tired, but guess what? I can hear. Dude, not being able to hear out of one ear, do not recommend. Zero of ten. Like, aside from the vertigo, it just makes you feel so, so disoriented. Mm. <laughs> All of them. Or only some of them, I guess, if that's your thing. Okay, so that's six. Maybe I'll like fold one more just to be ready. Typing is impossible. Words are impossible, and typing words is double impossible. So, you know, if you manage to communicate with me, I appreciate the effort. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Haiti. <laughs> Uh, all right. Shall we test the muse first? It's a rhetorical question. I've already decided. Um, I do not have any q-tips on my desk. I have a whole giant box. I just don't have any on my desk. And my cute little q-tip holder. Is there like a name for a q-tip holder? Like an elegant name? Don't ask me what I mean by that. <laughs> huh. Not yet. Soon. Pup time said soon. What is in my pocket? Oh. It's a butterscotch, you guys. Hmm. 
<laughs> Pocket surprise. You ain't wrong though. I'm like, hey. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not elderly either. I know I know exactly where it's from. I just didn't I didn't realize it was in my pocket. I didn't realize it was in this hoodie pocket. It's from last Friday when I stuck it in my pocket. <laughs> maybe it wasn't grief, maybe it was admiration for your ability to stealthily sneak dongs in. <laughs> mm. Okay, look. I meant the candy wasn't elderly. You give a fuck if people hating on my butterscotch. Butterscotch is delicious, okay? If you think butterscotch is an old person candy, you're depriving yourself. I don't understand, but I found something else. Do you want to know what the difference is between toffee and butterscotch? No! You guys don't have one of these in a room where you like talk to your family okay <laughs> oh. you know I don't worry about it because in this room Google's already listening to me through one of the like 87 tabs that I have open even though I'm streaming but uh <laughs> like for real it's it's listening I don't even know what what popped that one off. Oh, Jay. I mean, they're different. Okay, okay. Big G warning. Hey Google, what's the difference between toffee and butterscotch? On the website WebsterOnStore.com, they say, while butterscotch is cooked to a soft crack stage, toffee is produced by allowing that same butter and brown sugar mixture to reach the hard crack stage. Butterscotch tends to be chewy and pliable. The toffee is brittle toffee and more and breakable. Is one is to find out more, look for the link in your Google Home or Google Assistant app. <laughs> They've been sending me all kind of links in the app. Mm. It's content opal content but okay this is this is hard and it's butterscotch it is butterscotch flavor <laughs> all I need in my life is a huge hard butterscotch <laughs> <clears throat> the difference between toffee and butterscotch is one is hard and one is pulley. Wait a minute, you already said that. <laughs> Tahiti, thank you again for the bits. Okay, look. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of interesting because I don't think of butterscotch as being soft, which Google apparently claimed. Like... Anyway, today we're going to be water marbling. <laughs> Why is your stream marked mature? <laughs> reasons, reasons. Jill. No. <laughs> we, uh, well, we, you missed Peely, so you missed like the old water marble, but not any. Uh, See, look how beautiful and clean the cup is. Four polishes, one cup. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I don't know. They the Google thing said that you that the toffee's heated to a hard crack. I guess it depends what kind of toffee you mean, like Heath Bar toffee. Like that's pretty firm. 
like is it as firm as this hard butterscotch candy no but this isn't butter like is butterscotch a thing of itself and not just a flavor i mean i guess so maybe i misunderstood my pudding is trying super hard today <laughs> <laughs> I want to bite this so hard. Maybe I should say it's so hard I want to bite it. <laughs> no, I didn't just say that. <sighs> I could tell you when it comes to which candy is the hardest. Well, okay, Ricolas aren't really candy. Sometimes I eat them like they're candy, though. Okay, so this butterscotch is harder than a Ricola. Like a Ricola, if I even like, if my attention drifts from sucking on it, I'm biting. And this, like, I start biting on it and it doesn't instantly break. I'm like, oh, I'm biting it and I can go back to sucking it. The Ricola would have been crunched. Crunch, crunch. Mm. whether you suck or bite is completely dependent on what you have in your mouth okay <laughs> mm. let's see how this goes Like they spread kind of slowly, but not in a bad way. I feel like the brown is kind of a different texture than the others. how the bits clump together that might be because of that formula though like it's got a larger flake to it than the other three maybe i try it again with just the three i don't think i'm gonna try that <laughs> so shy the thing is like i don't often just eat chocolate like it has to be chocolate and something or I'm not too interested in it. And so then like, you know, it depends on what else is in there. Like if it's filled with caramel or something, like I probably have to bite it and bite off like half of the chocolate and get to the caramel inside and like... <laughs> Okay, there it goes. Okay, just these three. Mm. That was a bad drip, kind of unfortunate. We can work with it though for the testing. Is that six? We'll maybe go to nine. Are we dry on the edge yet? Not really. Don't know if we're gonna continue to get spread though. The center may all bleed together. Yeah, I maybe shouldn't have pushed this to nine. We'll see though. Wow, look at these clean lines. These are surprisingly clean, considering that these are full of flakies. Mm. 
looking at that one. Oh man, am I gonna be able to reach this? Is it even back here? Hmm, hold on. No, I don't want the blue one, I want the black one. Oh. I don't think it's back there anymore. I had a, uh... Oh. It's because it's right here. I was going to say, I had a black marker. To save on polish. For when you want to see something over a dark background. Sorry, it's wiggly. Yeah, but wait till you guys see it over black, though. Although, I mean, we could do it over white if we changed our mind. And actually, nine drops worked out. I'm going to try the opposite order. Just to see when this is fully clean. There. Just to see how they play in this direction. And then we'll get a look of how they look over black. <clears throat> Four, five. Six. Yeah, I mean, it feels like really crowding to add the last drops. But stretching it out probably helps with that. I'm not overly attached to this design either. This is mainly just like for testing. Like if we actually do this for manicure, I probably would test some other designs. The middle color is kind of on, whoa, you guys can't see that at all. Mm. It's actually more distinctive over the white. I wonder if the blues will be the same. I thought I would prefer it over black, but I kind of prefer it over white. No. Oh. I would want to start with something more pigmented for that. I would either need different ones for more contrast. Now, in person, I wonder if I can get this at a good enough angle for you guys to see. Like, on camera, it's pretty hard to differentiate between the red and the gold. A little bit there. Like, the... Uh, Oakley is pretty easy to see. It's a little bit creamier. I also wonder... Ooh. I kind of wonder how these would look with Oatly as a base. Like, more like this, but like more like a little bit more pigmented that's a thought um, the other one of these I only got two of last week's tests I don't know what the other one happened to what happened to the other one I can talk good Okay, let's, uh, 
Let's do the same with the blues. Do I wanna, I've got like five blues though. Do I wanna attempt these all at once? Just coloring. All right. Yes, out. Um, it, it's a, it's a, it was a 12 days of Christmas, but I don't remember what year. Like, I wonder if I can get away with 10 drops with these. I don't know. Hey, crafty. Welcome. We shall see. Honestly, from what I learned from the first one, I'm tempted to take one of the blues out because it has the slightly chonkier flakies. But I'll I'll test it. I'll I'll let it speak for itself. This one. Not too bad, actually. Can we get in another full ten drops? Or not full ten, but another whole five for ten total? I feel like I maybe should cut some out of this one, although this first one is a good testing one. Like maybe just pick the ones with the highest contrast. The green, one of the blues. I think, of course, again, over black, like I, st I was using my swatches over black when I was making the decision. Let me try it over black. I'll do reverse order too. That's educational. Um, I was pretty happy with how it turned out, but the part of the trick was doing like a design that complemented the magnetic. They were, they turned out okay. I didn't have a lot of magnetic polishes to choose from either. So I don't know that I necessarily got like the best contrast I'm actually really surprised these marble as well as they do and I feel like I can find a solution in the form of a base color to use some of them for something Thank you.
part of me almost just wants to like just do almost directly like that it's like got lily pad vibes and stuff uh salty cryptid thank you for the follow Let's see the silver black. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, a lot, a ton of bubbles. That might have been partly due to my dip. Which one of these is it that's giving off the creamy? creamy vibes the bubbling is very very unfortunate but that, I don't think that that's uh, I think that I think that's user error not polish error I kind of feel like I'm I'm just comparing with the other ones too and and with bubbles and stuff as well. I wish I could get a good shot of this on camp there. Kind of. Like it's definitely too many colors. The creamier colors aren't doing any favors over black and I don't like these colors over white. These ones I feel like are more promising over white, but they do better over probably one of the colors that's used in the marble as the base color. <laughs> And this, I feel like, is just too many polishes. But it's almost a little bit hard to distinguish which one is which. Like the green, I think is very good. Wait, what if I put it down here? And then like, no, you guys can't see that at all. Also, I mean, from a tutorial perspective, it's always frustrating when things are very difficult to show on camera. And these definitely are. Might make more sense, too, of a dark version because they are similar to either go with more contrasting colors or ooh, go with like uh, something that's not a flaky like alternate with black or alternate with a solid color <clears throat> hmm thank you i i feel like those were not I don't want to say they weren't what I wanted to put on my nails, but they weren't unsuccessful. I mean, the polishes do marble, which is kind of more than I expected. Mm. Yeah, when I did it, it was uh, with fun lacquer magnetics. And I just did a very simple design, like swoops, and then dipped it and then magneted as soon as I dipped and then magneted after top coat as well. How do I want to go about this? Do I just want to like... Let's try the creams first. I'm glad you like it. I know it's not like the fanciest music and in some cases it can get repetitive, but I think it's very calming and uh, also it's very creative commons and fine for me to use. Uh, all right, Naki. 
All right, let's start with just the creams. Yeah, these are spreading very nicely. So that'd be four. Eight. I think we can probably go for 12. So the Muse polishes drew pretty smooth, smoother than I expected, but look at this. You can see the difference in the shape of the chevrons, how they're, uh, how do I want to say it, less pointy, more triangly. fucking clean I mean and we could get more like we could even do those are so uh like wet like they're drying very slowly I could even do another set of across the other direction that would make it a little spicier let me see how these others go I'm not even gonna close those cause that that could definitely be that could definitely be a vibe just with those creams i would love to be able to like pop in a little bit of metallic or something or white do we need white like if they're already kind of light that lightest blue is very light Excuse me, see how this goes. Okay. Oh. This isn't dry. This just doesn't want to spread. So it's been a while since we've like just been stymied I mean I guess I could see if this would push it but it's so small yeah it's not gonna push oh god that actually fell all the way through Y'all, I've got polish on the bottom of my cup. Am I a noob? No, I'm not. It just happens sometimes. Don't feel bad about it. <laughs> that was, in a lot of cases, it's because you try to drip from too high up. That was just because, like, it all just stayed together there and just fucking fell through. Okay, so before we give up on this, we're going to try in the opposite order. See, it spreads by itself. And that spreads inside of it. Mm, that doesn't particularly want to spread there. Nor that. Is it not the blue? Is it this? Is it too dense? Let 
me try skipping that one. No. Can I just dip you out? Yes. And continue with this. Oh, it's actually both of them. The light blue doesn't want to spread, but also the, the tealish blue doesn't want to let anything else spread. No, no, God, two. That's that's uh, that's interesting. Mm. Okay, so let's just remove from consideration. Uh, I got a whole drip on this. Uh my fave wave and uh, I'm an aquaholic let's just try these two together you guys want to play play nicely We're not getting a clean bullseye here, and I don't like that. And I'm not sure which one is to blame. That's like eight. Let me just try that. Like they draw pretty cleanly, so I'm not sure why there was that warping in the bullseye. actually super pretty with like a silver base I bet those would pop a lot or like with this as the base huh would either of those go with this vibe though these are almost like they lean so indigo and this almost leans like despite the fact that like all these look blue on their own like together they look turquoise i would probably want to try with the darker one okay Although I also bet that this one, because of how, like, uh, shimmery it is, you see how you get that blue shimmer popping out at different angles? Mm, difficult to show on camera, but like, see, like, in the little, the little wrinkle there, how it gets more shimmery? I bet this would be really pretty over black. Let's just see how these metallics act in the water period the gold and the silver I feel like I have polish well I mean I do have some polish on my finger it feels sticky my finger is sticky I feel like less inclined to add the white or the very light gray. Look at that. You're also very polite. You're also very polite.
you're also very polite. What the heck? Okay, you don't like that as much. Is it because we're drying or because we're so close to the middle? I think it's just because we're so close to the middle. So that would be probably not, well, probably not the two glitterier ones. Could maybe add in the silver though, like the silver actually, or the gold. Like, I'm tempted to try this with the silver or gold, or I don't, what does that need? Does that need anything? Maybe that doesn't need anything. Would you guys do silver or gold with this? I feel like I would usually lean silver, but I feel like gold would also work and gold might be more unique. The dark blue with silver. Gold would be a nice con. Yeah, like I'm feeling like. <laughs> okay, so we'll, t we'll test both, okay? Let's, uh. Let's test multiple things. Let's test base color. So test gold and silver. Yeah. And I guess close these for now since I'm not testing them right now. Gold for the teal, indigo with the silver. Hmm. know if I want to top it with gold flaky we tested one of the previous ones was it the green one or the purple one with gold flaky and it's just kind of too distracting on top of the water marble I'm just letting this dry for just like a second and also like leaning back a second for my back okay we're gonna need to clean this up let's test the silver first Clean this up. Yeah, that's very dirty. Okay. Probably go for nine question mark. Nine is going to be pushing it. There's for. Is 
This is pretty good though. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Just like that, or like, dude. Like, we could go back and do another set of chevrons the other direction. Let's, let, we'll give the gold a chance, though. Don't discount the gold. Hello, droplet. You guys hear that beanie snore? The rings don't look as even. The gold is having a little bit more trouble keeping up with these than the silver was. Oh, that's a push. Mm. I see it pushed and we got a little bit weird. And now we've got like this extra thick section but that I mean if we really like it that can be worked with but I have to say in the cup I'm not feeling it especially in comparison to the silver oh shit okay but it looks way better though like over Does it look as good as the silver, though? I don't think it does. Like both, just from a like a like a design perspective and from a color perspective, looks way way better than I thought it was going to, though. Yeah, I wonder if I can filter that. Um, hold on. Mm. Mm. Is that better? Hey, Ratleg. You love the golden blue? Yeah, I like both of them. The blue and silver, though. Also, like, just looking between them. Ig ignoring the gold and the silver, the differences between the two blues, between... Uh, the silver has the lighter background and the gold has the darker background. Like the differences between the blues between those two are also like maybe I do another test and I do a dark background with the silver. just folding some paper. I'm not folding on my desk because the napkin's all wet and I don't want the paper all wet. At least, I mean, until we actually dip it into the water. 
Um, Beanie is so comfy right now. Oh, look at that stretch. What happened to this brush? Have I been very rough to you at some point in history? What the fuck? It's cracked. Can you go back in there? Yeah, let's go back in there. Fuck. Oh. Be, be mindful of your elderly brushes, you guys. You never know when one of them's gonna like crack, apparently. What possibly happened to this brush? I don't, of course, I don't have the autofocus on either. There's a crack in the side of it. like offering a butter wow 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 also did we want to consider other things with this one did we want to try the gold with that I could be convinced to take out the deepest teal and replace it with a gold we could test that. I think. I think we could do that. We could do that while we wait for this to dry. Even. See how the gold plays with them. Do it, do it, water marble. Yes, bud spot. Yes. Okay. Okay. Play nice gold. Kind of a thin ring. I think we go for twelve. Ooh, come on. That one's also cracked. That brush is also cracked, you guys. Oh, that's drawing really smooth, though. Okay. I feel like maybe the move would be to put it uh, on the other side of the darkest blue. So it was between the dark and the medium instead of between the dark and the light. You know what I mean? That's a subtle thing though. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. I don't love it next to the light blue. 
but I like it all together in the pattern. Okay. Uh... these two and silver I think maybe I'll test double chevron also I think we did nine for these Pretty sure. Of course, if I really want an accurate comparison between the two bases, I should do the same design. But then do I want to do another design after that as testing? Kind of. Wow, that's tough. That's a tough call. Between those two. I like both. It is definitely more indigo-y over the lighter color. Like over the darker color, uh, Light My Sapphire leans a lot closer to black even uh, in person. But they're both nice. I'd also kind of like to see it once they're dry. Okay. We're going to do one more set. So two more tests. Yeah, the, the lighter blue, which I mean, is not a light blue, but the, the, you know, it pops almost more against the dark background, but then the other one is so, so dark. Like, I wish I could have it pop that color and the other one not be as dark. I mean, I suppose maybe, I suppose maybe I should try a silver background. Also, hey, Bail, welcome. We are doing some water marble testing. Yeah, let's do. Let's do the double chevron test also over silver. I'll give that a second to dry. And then we'll also try the other blues and the gold with the gold placed between the other blue. <laughs> that drop in the bottom is just mocking me. Cup is actually very pretty and rainbowy in some places, though. Like here, like very rainbowy vibes. Okay, so we're shifting this between the dark blue and the medium blue. Just 
bread. And we'll attempt to do 12 again. Whoa, whoa, gosh. Golly. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, Gold. Why are you so difficult to get a decent sized drop? I feel like it didn't spread as well, and it would be nice to end on gold in the middle. Which I guess I could do by switching where I start. Should I do that? This is probably fine. I could keep that in mind if I actually do this on the nail. Like start on the medium blue instead of start on the dark blue and then I can end on gold. See that spot where it didn't spread to got bleeding. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sold on that TBH. I think I like that better than the other placement. But the gold makes it a little bit tricky to work with, and I'm not sure that it's better than just the blues on their own. But I do like that better. I do believe. Better than the original though? I don't... Mm. Like, it, gold and blue is not a natural combination for me, but also like, I mean, when you think about like natural turquoise gemstone, like that has gold in it sometimes. So it's a natural combination. Okay. We'll be doing a double chevron. So first, hmm. considered if I wanted to go in at like more of an angle. Ah, uh, that might be too much, like too busy. I don't think I'm a fan of it over silver either. Washes out the lighter blue too much. Although the design is actually, like I don't dislike the design. Seeing it actually dipped. Do I want to do, but do I want to do that? Or do I want to do plain chevrons? Or do I want to do something else altogether? with a warm accent yeah that's true like right now I think I'm feeling the darker like the more indigo one more
But I don't know that I'm sold on any of these designs. TBH. Like, do I want to tighten these up even more and go for stripes? Do I want to go for something like in a different direction altogether? Like the last marble we did was kind of more on the random side, although it was a very calculated amount of random. So I don't really want to go that direction again. Whoops. Can actually place this where you guys can see all the blue ones next to each other. I mean, even this one is nice, but I really like it with the pop of silver in there. The most distinction on camera, particularly, is over the lighter blue. I do very much like how juicy, like, the light blue shows up over the darker color, but I think overall, like, it leans too dark, and over the silver... Like, everything becomes, like, a little bit frosty and more metallic and less uh, intense in, in the blue indigo sort of feels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely think the lighter blue is the base is the way to go. Mm, I'm very iffy on the design, though, honestly. Like, like, not, not... I don't know what else I would want to try if I don't do like something based on chevrons and maybe that's just because like last time i was going to do chevrons and then i didn't get to do chevrons so my brain is still sh stuck on chevrons hmm the thing with chevrons is like if you if you want to dip multiple fingers the easiest way is to put them like horizontally like to dip the fingers in this way but at the same time one of my favorite ways to wear chevrons is like pointy so like this way well except with the point like like here like where the point points to the tip of your nail that can be very tricky to do two nails at a time of um, or if you do one nail at a time, then you're doing 10 cups. Artsy. I don't know why it startled me so much. Maybe just because I was deep, deep in thought. Hello. Welcome. We're uh, doing a little bit of testing. Some more successful than others. This is actually like a perfect example. This one looks a hot, hot, hot mess on camera. And then various other levels of success, but it's kind of interesting how this one sticks out nicest. Um, were you working on a room, Rando? Ertzi, I hope you had a good stream. I kind of want to try stripes with them. I don't know what else though. Do I need to pull out the list of all water marble designs that we made? I don't know, even know where that is. I think it's in my old notebook. Oh, oh well, come on in, Artsy. I'm kind of tired, but we're gonna do a manicure, and it's gonna be phenomenal. Yeah, considering. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's let's also think realistically here. Ouch! I almost like poked myself trying to like. Also hate 10 months with Woo! Ooh. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I said that so strangely. Artsy, thank you so much for 10 months. Um, considering that my brain is pudding, perhaps precision dipping is not the way to go. I 
I kind of want to do it though. Maybe I save that for a day when I feel like precision dipping and I play around with the lighter shades a little bit more. I wonder if... Um... I wonder if one of the other golds would work better. Not that one, but this one? Okay, hold on. Let's get another test strip. Hey, Peach. Your favorite notebook page. The arcane spells of water marble. Um, okay, not that, this and this, and this. Yeah, I, and, and that, that color combination, and I know sometimes I use words, like, to describe things in ways it's like, I don't think that's a normal description, but you know, it's fine. It feels sharp to me. Like, I would really like to do it, like, each finger having its own set of chevrons. And I kind of would like... Like, I haven't done any striped marbles in a long time either. Okay, let's see if this is gonna work. Now, this is, a, like, a slightly different tone of gold. Do I also want to put this... No, I think I'm going to switch it and try after the lightest one again with this different gold. Okay. Let's try this. Spread. I mean, if all else fails, I could just go back to all blues with no gold. Yeah, you're not happy, are you? Well, rip. Maybe I do try the white. Maybe I do add a white instead. That would make it... Like, maybe we can get, like, a sea foamy vibe going here. That's a no. That's a no for me, dog. Alright. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna accept defeat on that because I'm not loving the other gold and that gold does not want to cooperate so maybe we're just not meant to have gold in this come on white for 12 again I guess question mark do I need to thin this white a little bit do I have another bottle of white I could just use instead that would be convenient or I could try with my boyfriend skills walls that white is on the thick side, I did not realize. Eh, might still be okay, though. So, for stripes, it's very similar to chevrons. But you pull them closer to each other and kind of, like, in a downward motion instead of just straight across.
sometimes also it can be nice to add more than one drop to get some thicker stripes yeah I'm, I don't know if I'm loving these stripes I'll see what I think about them when we dip them. See, we got a bubble there. Of course, I've also thought about doing something like this and then doing a design within that. Like... Oh, actually, that turned out better than I thought. actually great could also try a slightly wider pull I'm debating I want we have another half of the strip here do I want to test a wider pull or do I want to test thicker drops hmm Hey, Wim. Hello. See, like, what you also can do is, like... Like, we could have drawn, like, a little wiggle or something through there. Because you see how it makes almost just, like, this sort of very even palette... Okay, let's try this. Mm. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Come on, you're so lopsided. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay, that feels very weird. Oh, I might have to switch out the white. That's goofy as shit. Why are you doing this to me? I feel like that white sabotaged the fuck out of me. See, we've got a, like we've got a goodly amount up here, but it's too late, White. Well, maybe it's not too late. The last one surprised me on the dip, so maybe this one will too. this half of the stripes is better sometimes though you get like bubbles and stuff in there and one of the things I kind of wanted to experiment was if you like dip in there and dip out bubbles what happens is you kind of you join lines together well or you leave a hole behind if they cooperate you get like little dimples in the design try and do a couple just to like show you guys what I had in mind I don't know if I actually will ever do it requires polish that like cooperates
so like see down on the bottom and actually the white did like actually cooperate in the top almost too well i feel like there's like too much white in that one but you see how we we're able to make like these little like pinch shapes i feel like that would be fun to experiment with sometimes yeah like i don't think this is necessarily like the, the best colors to show it off with but maybe later in the month we can find something that lends itself to that I think the first stripes almost turned out better. These ones are almost more gradienty, but it's because the white was misbehaving in such a strange way. I guess maybe this, if the white didn't misbehave, would be the good, better one. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? Uh called this one one because we did it first even though okay here look, we'll flip it around then it'll make sense one or two which one do you like and this does give like very oceany vibes I like that. Yeah, I, de I, I really want to explore the dimple effect more. Or like, I mean, there's other stuff you can do with it too. Like... Like I said, like swirls or, or different little designs through the stripes. Using stripes as a base for something. You just have to find stuff that dries slow enough. Because drawing stripes is kind of slow because there's so many strokes. I really don't know which of those I prefer. Also, interesting to note that we've done a lot more testing than we did last time, but the water is a lot clearer. So even though we've been working with some fairly pigmented blues, like green seems to be one of the colors that just is way, way, way more likely to uh, stay in the water. Well, and your nails. Can't tell too much, but I can tell. I'm pretty happy with all that testing. But I don't know if I want to put any of that on my nails. I guess the stripes would be pretty easy to put on my nails. It's already eight. We've been testing for two hours. I'm slightly surprised. Um, do I not have some cotton over here? There we go. I don't know what colors would be best for the dimple design. I think about it all the time and then I just never can quite like make up my mind. Wow, that is in my cuticle. My cuticles are very green, y'all. Very green. A little bit unfortunate. Stamping over the stripes? Oof. 
Yeah, but also oof. <laughs> Uh. Mm. Uh. Just one cuticle oil. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, some of my cuticles really had a strong <laughs> green residue left over. I hate being so indecisive, you guys. Especially because the last two weeks, like, I mean, maybe it's because my ideas just worked out without needing too much testing, but... This patch is peeling. That's patch, not nail. I can't remember where exactly the break is. I can't see it. I don't really feel like replacing the whole patch. <laughs> no Grinch fingers, no. Grinch fingers are only when I use regular base coat. Yeah, I think cuticle oil is like, or even just like a really good hand lotion, not just like lotion, like a lotion that's kind of designed because like a lot of lotions that are designed as hand lotion have oils that you would find in cuticle oils. Oh, bedtime for you, Flamingo. Good night. A cringe fingers emote. I mean, technically one was made. I don't know. though. She's kind of creepy. I wouldn't rule it out because I have so many slots, but I also have a lot of ideas I'd consider better. I might add it as BTTB. I mean, the other thing too is like with subscriber emotes, I try to make them things that aren't just like specific to my channel. Like, how many other channels you gonna be using Grinch Fingers in? <clears throat> We're doing your nails while watching a stream, yeah. Um. Is that the Grinch Fingers emote, Jay? She scares me. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> just a little bit. Maybe I should put it on FFC or BTTV or 7TV. I don't want to add too much more on 7TV until I get my chatbot straightened out, though, which is literally, like, the easiest thing in the world if I just fucking do it. My nails need some shaping, too. Like, honestly, I probably should... This is gonna be famous last words. I should defile them down or trim them down a little bit today, and I'm not going to because I just don't have the energy. And I hope I don't regret it. Pet the cringe fingers? No. <laughs> Bedtime for real. All right. Rest well, flamingo. Hmm. <laughs> She's perfect. Uh, maybe I need to add that to my streamer homework. Oh, I've got so much streamer homework, you guys. <sighs> oh, 
I'm tired, man. I, I, like, I know I used to have energy. I know this is a thing that, like, used to be true. I uploaded an old VOD on YouTube a little while ago, and I was like, who is this person? Full of vim and vigor. Fatigue is just like that. I know. Like, I really, really want to wuss out and be like, we'll do the manicure another day. But my nails shouldn't be left naked just because I'm tired. <laughs> beans, beans. We've had a beanie manicure stream before. Did anybody ever did anybody ever clip that? We clipped beanie's nails on stream. Because we had been having a discussion on how to cut cat's nails. Long and time turned out. It's always so exciting to get emotes. Because it's like I have an idea, but then like to see Moon actually bring it to life is so fun. I love it. Uh oh. How long were we down? I see the reconnection notice, but I didn't even notice the not connected notice. Oh. 15 seconds. I seem to be having a problem with that lately, you guys, and I don't know why. Every now and then, too, I've been having my, like, more often than normal, my router is just spontaneously restarting itself. And if that happens, I don't know, that might take longer than the disconnect protection. I feel like it's very slow to, re to fully reboot itself. <sighs> it's not just me. Is it, is, is it like a Twitch server thing? Is he? Technical difficulties are the worst. I've got so much peeling going on on this thumb. Where's the focus? Put a little right thumb. Like, all. Oh. I want to peel it so much. I know I shouldn't. I know I should just leave it alone. Yeah, I don't know. Tis the season for internet fuckery, I guess. I guess I'm glad it wasn't down any longer than that, and thankfully disconnect protection will keep the VOD all in one piece. I really... that is very, very handy. If you are a streamer friend, I highly recommend turning that on. I'm not gonna patch that today. We need to patch it next time. I'm gonna hope I don't regret not doing it today. I really, really hope I don't regret it. These couple little problem areas here. Disconnect protection is one of those things that I feel like should kind of be on by default, like saving VODs, but is not. I think a lot of people don't even necessarily know about it. But 
it's really helpful for keeping your VODs together and better experience as a viewer too, because otherwise sometimes the stream goes up and down. Like it can be harder to... Like usually with disconnect protection, like you don't have to refresh and sometimes otherwise you do. Not always. I mean, OBS shows me that it's... I, I, I haven't seen it as it's happening. I mean, I, I don't know how I would even tell if it was OBS's fault or Twitch's fault, but like when I look, OBS is already telling me it's reconnected. Like, I haven't even seen it, the actual, your disconnected message. On my side. Like, by the time I notice, it's already connected again. And I, and I still see chat the whole time. Like, I see you guys, you know. Did stream blip? Oh no, what's happening? You know, I see all that. So it's not, you know, I have had some internet things lately, but it doesn't seem to be an internet thing. Um. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't know which manicure I want to go with. Maybe just the stripes? The stripes would be easiest. Of course, if I can make up my mind which stripes I like best. Also, I need to open this. Oh, the disconnection protection. It's in Twitch. Um, I think it's the same place your stream key is. Possibly. Around that area. Oh, excuse me. New tape, y'all. Yeah. No, that makes plenty of sense now that <laughs> I understood. This thing is filthy. Well, I suppose I haven't like, cleaned it since the last time I changed my tape, which is who knows when. I feel like I should be able to do something with that. But what? Beanie toy, maybe? We'll see if he notices when he wakes up. Probably not. <laughs> hey, welcome home, Naki. I've got, I've got peeling right there. I've got peeling on this nail. I've got peeling on this nail. I've got peeling on the pinky. I've got peeling on the thumb. <sighs> Fuck winter. Also, is this true? Did I actually see this or was this like a nightmare? Is it about to be fucking daylight savings time? Sag. All right, I'm just filing a couple of these peely spots, so hopefully they don't continue to peel. We'll we'll for sure patch that next week. Well, I don't know exactly when next water marble will be. Oh, I think that's gross. Didn't used to be this early. Like, isn't this really, really early? are rough we're gonna do a scrub while I'm downstairs get the cuticles a little happier 
I need to decide what I'm doing before I take my pre-manicure potty break though. Like, am I doing one of these? I mean, I need to, otherwise I need to test more. Mm. These OPIs are stinky. Also, by the way. Yeah, there's quite a bit of snow still here. I mean, we've had rain and stuff a couple times. Yeah, no, winter, seriously, everything gets drier in winter. And I should be better with cuticle oil, but sometimes I'm not. And sometimes I'm lazy and cuticle oil can help. But sometimes like it's just no matter what you do, you're just gonna. You're just gonna end up dealing with some peeling. Sunlight melting the snow. Yeah, no, was it last manicure? In fact, we were sitting here doing nails and it was thundering. And I was concerned. I really, really am torn between these two. Like, I like different things about each of them. Yeah, I, w I mean, I'm ready for spring. I would love spring. That'd be great. Especially if we're going to have to fuck around with daylight savings time. Hmm. I will think about it while I go downstairs. Um, not going to be using those. These we will set to the side to be used later. Not going to be using this, this this sorry Bainey and the muse polishes shall be oops considered further later I it should be like Yeah, I thought that about some of uh, some of the green ones too. Like, uh, is it this one? Yeah, like this one. Very wood grain, except you know, green. Mm, was it this one too? Yeah, this one too. Yeah, that was uh, last stream. Well, not last actual stream, last nail stream. It really, it, the, the, like, um, loved that. Loved all of that. <sighs> Maybe that's why this just feels a little tiny, slim, small amount underwhelming. Is is, the, is is that just it? Is there's nothing wrong with simplicity? A 
feels wrong though. <laughs> like after that, like I just this just feels like like a plain manicure almost. I mean it's not. Obviously it's not. I don't I don't know. Hey Mel. I love that emo. Sparkle. Sparkly. Brain cells are rubbing together. Just give me a minute. I'm just trying to decide if there's something I could do in the cup to make that seem less basic to me. I like if I had more energy, I like the stamping idea. I just I don't like the idea of stamping today. I'm not I'm not into it. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that's also true, Izzy. That's also true. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm wish I'm wishing for more energy so that I felt like stamping and that's not going to happen. So the real question is just back to which of these do I prefer? And I'll think about that while I take a small break. If you need a break, I encourage you to take one. If you need maybe a refill or a snack, now is the time. And uh, I'll be back shortly-ish. Like five five or ten minutes-ish. Not, not that shortly, actually.
Um, cuticles are much happier. I still haven't fully decided. Also, like the decision of dipping two or three nails at a time. Because sometimes at the edges of the cup, the stripes get a little weird. Although these seem pretty good. Um. Yeah, so... Because the BRB really uses so much video game stuff and so much stuff from the YouTube library, and because I have content ID on my channel, I don't want to accidentally claim other people's stuff. And I don't want to have to manually exclude it from every nail polish VOD. So, I don't know. Either do like a nail polish focused one eventually, or just like some pretty background things or like some water marble maybe I should play should just play my own compilation videos while I'm gone keep you guys entertained that'd actually be kind of a good idea um okay let's slightly organized here just slightly. Um, let's pre-cut our tape. Shiny tape now. Hope it doesn't make the camera angry. Probably should turn off the autofocus on the webcam again. Okay, that's three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's one extra from last time still. Fresh, beautiful paper towel. Fresh, beautiful water marble cup. About like that, I think. Yeah. And set that up there until we need it. Um. Benny, why don't you get in your chair, bud? There you go. I just need a little bit of sugar. No, this is not for beans. Hello, your face is very dirty. Sit. Sit. Hold still, buddy. There you go. Mm, there's a bany treat left. You get a reward. See, aren't you glad your face is clean now? So people don't have to look at your dirty face. Sit. Good boy. He's a good boy. Mostly. Okay, that's more than I wanted, but...
every time I have some of these. I'm just amazed by how fucking good they are. Freeze dried Skittles. For those who don't know. Are a fantastical creation. And a textural experience. Okay, I'm prepping with uh, acetone. And then we'll get started. I still haven't decided which version of the mar water marble I'm going to be going for. We have a little bit of time to decide. I didn't test a base, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the lightest blue. Um, if the white gets a little bit blue, that's fine. And I think it will be nicer than just like a white base. Also, you know, the original one... came across a little bit more turquoisey to me. These come across a little bit more bluer. I guess maybe it was that darker one that was leaning more teal and pulling the whole thing in that direction. Part of me leans more toward the first one because it's more blue focused and this is like the white seems to highlight itself when the whole thought of the design was more of a blue focused design. Yeah, left hand is really long right now. Left hand is dangerously long. I should file it. We'll file it next time. Or maybe I'll do peelies offline and, and just file them down before stream. Sometimes that works better. But yeah, compared to right hand, it's a lot longer right now. Dang it. <clears throat> Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco Peely Base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. And I don't feel like I've been doing much different to get such nice wear on my peely base, but hopefully we'll get lucky again. I think too, I'm going to try and edit the green one tonight. So it could go up on YouTube tomorrow. Or should I save it for Sunday? <sighs> or maybe even Saturday. Look, I plan I've been doing more than one nail art a week. So I should like bump up my upload schedule to more than one a week, but I'm not quite sure when I want to do it. I guess like, do I want to aim to target to still have something go up on Sunday? Or do I just want to say, fuck my schedule during Water Marble March and things are just coming out as they are ready to come out? I definitely don't want to get too far behind. Because we're working on the, the purple one went up Sunday. The extended tutorial for the purple one went up Wednesday. So Friday or Saturday would be a pretty good day for the green one to go up. And then the blue one 
and then the VOD go up in a couple days, and then the blue one go up, like, mid-next week-ish? Question mark. It might work out. <clears throat> Fan, hello. <laughs> Bud spot. I can zoom you guys in a little bit fast, also, I guess. Now that we're doing things. OPI's names are so long. Oh. If we do three nails together, then we can do thumb and pinky together, but we have to be very, very careful that they don't end up like at an angle like that like they have to be like straight to each other like that for the stripes to end up like proper like if if it gets like you know what I mean wiggly either direction then the stripes would end up crooked alternatively I could do two and two and dip my thumbs together that would be five cups We'll maybe see. We'll see how the first design turns out. These are pretty good because, like, you can see at the very edge, you get some kind of shapes like that. But there's three fingers worth of pure stripedness. Yeah, that's a word. Stripedness? Question mark? Maybe. All right. I have just a couple more of these. And then this base coat should be dry, and then we can move on. Oh, I shouldn't have closed this. No! Okay, it's fine. And we've got the latex. that I'll be using today are from OPI. This darkest one is Ogre the Top Blue. The medium is No Room for the Blues. The lightest one is What's the Catitude? And then for the white we have Alpine Snow. I'll be using the lightest blue as the base color and once I have that complete I'll be protecting around my nails using liquid latex as well as tape. <clears throat> it's really light. I might need two coats for the base color. It's quite thin. The way it settles, especially. Been spoiled, y'all. Spoiled by all that practically one coat goodness from Holo Taco. <laughs> this is fine, though. We'll make it work. If I 
I do like this, will it go back to the middle of the nail? Settle itself back to the middle? No, I probably already waited too long. This pinky's finally starting to look not quite so sad. That's the one that I completely snapped off, thanks to Mr. Bean. This formula, too, is kind of like watery a little bit, like to the point where I don't think you could like glom it on to be opaque because it would just end up doing like what the pinky did over here, like settling to the sides. because I'm impatient to add the second coat yeah second coat actually is way way nicer would probably honestly still need three if I was gonna wear it on its own like it's definitely still translucent and a little bit patchy in spots And depending on like what colors I was water marbling with, even the first one coat uh, like might have been fine. But considering that this is one of the polishes I'm marbling with, like I don't want the marble to be able to see the streakiness underneath, if that makes sense. Got that little speck there. Get off. It literally won't move. You can't see it on camera anyway. If you can't see it on camera, does it really matter? Yes. Because it will continue to bother me. <laughs> but it doesn't matter as much. really pretty blue there you can see it a little bit just that little you almost can see it more in the reflection than you actually can see I literally don't know where it came from <clears throat> hey Kalia hello welcome we are can I grab this we're doing one of these I think I'm leaning towards this one rather than this one yeah I think yeah yeah hey music gal hello welcome 
We are just, I just have uh, finished my base color. I'm waiting for it to dry just a bit and then we're going to do protection and then I think we're doing this, the stripes. I was, I was marbling with your polish shortly ago. Okay. I'm living dangerously. Um, probably straight. Do I want to do vertical? No, probably horizontal straight. I've been having trouble having consistent dipping angles though. So we'll see if I actually succeed in that. This was the most successful of the Muse marbles. And I was actually really surprised with how well they spread. Um, and this is with like no base color. I think this combination with like Oatly as a base color has some <clears throat> has some potential like for future testing. Was fun to play with them. Like they all spread significantly better than I thought they would, but because of the flakes and some of the other stuff like some of the designs got a little bit lost and some of the ones that are slightly creamier than jellier look a little bit odd in combination depending on what the base color is but they were like they really they really work surprisingly well and i say surprisingly because like they've got so much going on with them with the flakies and the glitters and stuff all right protection I like to do tape on the sides and latex at the cuticle. Yeah, music gal. I, I was I was very uh I was very skeptical of whether they would like even spread. And if they did spread, like how, how the design would turn out, like if I'd be able to get a clean drag. Yeah, they were the first ones I did. Um, I, I want to revisit it. I need, I need to like come back to it when I'm slightly more clear headed to pick the colors out of the tests that I did that would go well together. Oh god, the neck of this is a little bit gunked up. It's fine though. Ew. There was a goober there. I also... <laughs> I still haven't bought a fresh container of latex. I think I've decided on white though. But I should just go ahead and buy it. I've got something else in my cart that I'm waiting to go on sale. Because I, I, it consistently goes on sale and it's not on sale right now. So I'm like, grumble. Okay. Yeah, let me show you the other ones while this was drying music out. So, like I said, this was the most successful. This was those over black. Which, like, you can see 
the creamier one which i think is oatly but the red and the yellow kind of get a little bit more lost and then i did a blues combination which just didn't turn out very legibly but if you like look at the actual design like it actually is pretty cool and over green was also like just not very legible i think what would probably work best is either this combination with something other than white but not black as the base color or like one of these colors with uh, a solid color or black in between um but they all spread well and i mean you can see these aren't like the absolute 100 percent straightest lines ever but they're not uh they're not curdled this was uh oh and i was gonna try this but this had like the slightly larger chunks in here compared to like in here uh it, it wasn't wanting to spread and cooperate because i was i thought that like that chocolate would go good in there yeah v like very very cool I, I i definitely want to revisit them oh and then also is this the one no that's not the one we're gonna do this at some point even though also like the Excuse me, have I done this before? All of a sudden, this looks very familiar to me. You know what? So what if I have? If it was 10 years ago, fuck it. It's like, it, it's, it's almost like it didn't happen, right? Yeah, it was it was very interesting though we did quite a bit of testing how many one two three four five six seven strips so 14 test marbles i feel like that's more than our last several sort of a mini brainstorm session because i didn't know what i was going to be up to today hey punch buggy welcome doing okay a little tired but that's okay all right we should probably zoom you guys out a little bit for this we'll get some more acetone in here yeah we're just about to start marbling my my protection, my latex just finished drying. <clears throat> All right, and I believe that was 12 drops. We need to be mindful of the white because the white is a little bit on the thick side, but I'm lazy and I'm not going to try and thin it out. Also, because if I was gonna thin it out, I should have done it like at the start of stream so that it would have longer for the bubbles to settle out <clears throat> close can I get here before they're in frame like actually pretty close okay <clears throat> As usual for a water marble, I'm working in a five ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water.
Are we gonna get a final spread here? Maybe not. Once the bullseye is complete, I'm going to go ahead and draw down to the bottom and then up to the top. Then I'm going to be drawing in some very skinny chevrons to create stripes. Trying to be mindful of any bubbles I see and kind of draw right through them to try and pop them if I can so that they're not sitting in the design. I don't love this area right there, so I'm going to do thumb and pinky for this one. <clears throat> Once you have all of the stripes drawn in, you can go ahead and line up your nails. For this cup, I'm going to be dipping my thumb and pinky together. So I'm just going to make sure that they're lined up as best I can. And then go ahead and dip. With my orange stick, I'm going to clean up any of the excess polish so that that doesn't stick on top of my design. And once the surface is clear, I'm going to pull out my nails. Yes, I see that bottle. And there's the water marble. I'm going to use a tweezer to remove my protection and then move on to the rest of my nails. The thumb is a little bit crooked, but I'm pretty happy with how straight the pinky is. Although there's like a nipple at the tip. What the fuck? Hold on here. The pinky has a nipple. That's what I said. it doesn't want oh I have autofocus off that's why dude the pinky full on has a fucking nipple I mean it's fine I'm not gonna like redo it I'm a little bit irritated just like slightly let's see how this goes It's clean. I don't know where that came from. Was that in the water and I just didn't see it? Was there something left on the surface that I like pulled back up? I honestly don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No. No, my cup's deep enough. I don't know that I've ever touched the bottom with my finger. Sometimes the side. 
like the whole design comes it it looks like I I did um it looks like I was trying to do that pinch technique that I did earlier that I showed you guys except I wasn't maybe I unintentionally did though That white was very stubborn. That's a problem. So what we do is we move the cup over here and then through the magic of YouTube we cut out that whole section. Look, it's just after the first cup. You can't prove that it's not. That was a very small drop, but I'm gonna go with it. We want this wide enough for three fingers. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Can you guys see? Okay, we got some bubbles there, but it's fine. Mm. 
There's one more to pop. Okay. Like a, a little bit of an angle on the ring and the uh, index nail, which I think is just because of how that was in the cup. I was gonna say, I hope Bean's not there. Sometimes I'll just like shake the water off my hand and forget to check for him. And he does not appreciate it. Mm. But. I wish the pinky was slightly angled the other way now, but I mean, you know, it's fine. Pretty happy with that. It's like a bubble, uh, a, 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 a poke, a, what was I calling those things? Oh fuck, I like named that technique and I've forgotten. Um, pinch, thank you. It's like a bubble and a pinch and something else all happened in the same spot. Cause see how the stripes at the tip of the nail are e are like aimed toward that? Honestly though, very few bubbles. Clean. Pretty clean. A little bit more white done the test but not by much I guess it's more like this section of the test than like this section it's fine though yeah there's a part of me that really really wants to fuck around with that and there's the rest of me that knows that that's probably a really bad idea Like if I had more more energy, maybe I would. But it'll be like a beauty mark or a dimple. No, we're not gonna put a rhinestone on top of it. I'm sorry, Dino. Somewhere Dino felt a disturbance in the force. <laughs> Putting tape on my other hand is also like a skill. Okay. So we just need to do that twice more. And we'll be good. Ooh, the Masked Singer. I've never actually seen that, but it looks looks kind of fun. All right, latex. Sometimes it feels really awkward even just painting latex on left-handed. Some days like doing stuff left-handed just feels almost like normal. And some days it's like honestly a struggle. This tape is not. That's better. 
I applied it kind of unevenly. I'm not trying to take it all the way off though. This also. I love this whole side of thumb open. It's okay, poor little right thumb. It's not your fault. <clears throat> yeah, it does have like a little bit of a of an agate vibe. Yeah, it's hard, like, and this is another thing that it's easier to mitigate if you just do two at once. Like, look how straight that middle nail is. But in the cup, like, they were just a little bit uneven. And maybe even also partly like the way that I, when dipping in, the way the design slightly pulls. Um, you know, the more nails you're dipping at a time, the more likely you're, you are to get pulls. This, this is like flawless. Like if, if I were to say, which one did you want it to look most like that one? Except maybe like a tad bluer. It's fine though. <laughs> I could complain. I could complain so much about everything. Do I record this hand? Mm. <clears throat> I'm glad a refreshed help jam. Yeah, sometimes Twitch is just <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's me and me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, it is. It is finee though. No, it is. I agree. <laughs> um not really I mean this almost kind of comes close I feel like it would be difficult to get it to uh be consistent the one we did with thicker stripes gave a little bit more gradient and there's an example of the pinch technique on the edge of this uh, which I'm definitely going to explore more. I, I don't know what color I want to use for the pinch technique, though. I don't even know if pinch technique is like, you know, because it looks like you went in there and like, boop, boop. But is that like actually a good name? I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. Like, I don't know that blue flaky would be extremely uh, effective because it's so light. Because all flakies really look best over like darker colors. But on the other hand, it's not like flakies ever look bad. Mm. All right. This is like not really dry. I don't know if that's gonna dry. I got like some under the tape. It's all like it's goobered. Goober city. Let's just see what we can do here. Oops. Get off. Get off. Oh, this is so messy. Clean off my stick here before we start. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we need to clean first. Hmm. <clears throat> Ooh, have fun, music out. For those who don't know, I guess I didn't even say because I'm like, everybody knows. 
But for th those who don't know, the Muse Polis that I was uh, water marbling with earlier is Musical's brand. It's available on Etsy. I don't remember if I actually said the names of what I was marbling with either, which is very irresponsible of me when I was playing with those, but... My brain is a partial brain today. Come on. <laughs> so, you know, we're using a new tape. The shiny tape is slipperier than the matte tape was. I don't like it. I feel like every drop like I'm on the verge of dropping the whole brush into the cup. <laughs> like, danger zone, dude. That's a very skimpy white. I talked about it a little before but the difference between stripes and chevrons or this the secret I don't know if it's a secret is to keep it very tight and to kind of angle a little bit like down like not straight across like not straight across from where you start like almost back to where the previous stroke started Whoa. That's dried. That's a fur. Fuck. This might be thumb and pinky cup. And that kind of helps pull the, pull the lines like straighter and at less of an angle. Sometimes it still can be tough. So you get shapes like that, like that's not a stripe. You get a bubble like that there. Let's just pull that out. See a little bubble here too. All right. Thumb and pinky. Oh, I hope that thumb's okay. I think I was really close to the edge of the design there. Thumb and pinky together is an intermediate dip. I even have trouble with it sometimes. It's awkward, especially when you're trying to go at a particular angle. But it can save you cups of water marble. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hell yeah. I'm very pleased with how even those are. Like I said, when you when you dip them in, you have to really hold them like that, not let them get it like these kind of angles. You got to really carefully hold them parallel to each other. Other, other dips, it's less uh, of an angle issue. Um... Like other designs, it can be a lot easier to dip them together, but it's always like a little bit of a, like the cup is very crowded. And if you're worried about the angle, it's just can be very tricky. Oh, that's fine. Hello, get off.
Oh, come on, get off my tweezers. <clears throat> All right, one more copy, guys. <laughs> well, I got it because it was like considerably cheaper, and I was like, why would I ever have purchased the other kind if this kind is cheaper? And I don't recall purchasing it like for that reason, but now I know. <sighs> like, it's just like, it's so fucking like, bloop, like slippery, like, oh my god. So. Knock on wood, but if I drop a, a whole ass brush into my cup of water, that's why. Okay, let's clean it one more time. This water seems dirty. Very much so. Alright. Last cup. This should be better because at least the thumb is no longer taped. Excuse me, so we're just like half slippery. Mm, there we go. Man, some of these drips are stubborn. Sure, that's fine. <sighs> the white is weird. We'll see how this turns out. If I need to do another cup, I will, but this might be fine. Also, I am doing some wiping on my napkin off to the side, but I'm also doing a considerable amount of wiping on the side of the cup each time that I stroke. Okay, this should be fine. Pretty sure that's fine. Oh, yeah. Ring finger's a little crooked, somehow. Like, I literally had them in there lined up. I guess they're all, like, slightly a little tiny bit crooked. This one's still the straightest one. 
This one is the bluest one. This one is the whitest one. They're pretty consistent though. They're pretty consistent. Okay. I really like this one. I wish this hand was a little bit bluer. I wish this one was a little less chunky. Thumbs are both good. Overall, nine of 10 water marble, maybe 8.5. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. The initial reaction. Training yourself not to panic when those things happen is, like, key. I don't know if I've ever dropped a brush into the cup. I feel like I maybe have, like, once. I'm surprised it's not a... Like a, like a more seared into my brain memory. Must not have been that bad. No, this is, in fact, factually untrue. Um, I mean, the pinky's still a nipple. See, see how the, how the lines at the tip, like that's what's getting me. Like, it's not just that it's like a bubble or whatever. It's like the lines, I, I would accept, I would expect that kind of pucker at the side, not at the tip. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, okay, when you're going in like this, like the edges can be problematic where there's little like you know those things that aren't stripes but usually like on the on the sides of the design like there's not i don't know i d i really i'll be interested to see when i edit if that was visible in the cup or if it's something that happened after the dip or like on the way out or something because i'm just not sure how it happened Yeah, I don't know. It, but it definitely does remind me of... See, and I think I kind of over-pulled these because, like, there's a lot of light blue in there. But this is... Like, you see, like, uh, like this one right there. It's hard It's hard to point when looking in the camera. But, like, like, that part right there, like, those have very similar vibes. That's That's such a cool effect, though. Like, just, I don't know, what colors would that really like set off like some high contrast colors or like I don't know. um but we've got some cleanup to do now a little bit <clears throat> once i've marbled both hands i'm gonna move on to some cleanup I'm going to use a q-tip for any larger areas as well as underneath my nails and then I'll be going in closer with my usual small brush dipped in acetone. These are pretty nice light colors, also easy to clean up. What? Where are you going? 
Penny ditched. This is not a very impressive napkin we're creating today. The one we did last time for the greens, oh, was so pretty. Like it just had such watercolor vibes. from the cleanup portion. I feel like too, like the thumb, like I need to explore stripes more. Like you see how there's like, stripes and then stripes and they kind of come together and there's sort of like a triangly I don't like like I don't know how to explain like like this area I don't know how to point it out like I wonder if I could make it look more like like the stripes all even but then in shapes and layers that weren't even does that make sense I don't think it does you guys still might understand me though because you guys are very smart people <laughs> half the time i'm like do you guys know what i mean and then somebody like puts it into way better words than i could out of my own brain yeah like in waves like uh like okay you ever in like do you okay I have a, a huge memory of this and it's not exactly the same, but like I remember in grade school, like being taught to draw, uh, like there was a project and it was like you made like three overlapping hills and then the grass was waving this way on one hill and this way on the other hill and then this way on the other hill. Did anybody else have this art project? I'm going, I'm going to guesstimate it was at approximately like third grade or something. But like something like that, where it's like, <laughs> I wonder how I could accomplish that with watermelon. Like, like this thumb almost is kind of doing it just a little bit. Like you see how like, like toward the cuticle, the stripes are really straight. And then like, there's a small section where they're like crooked and then toward the tip, they're straight again. Like that, but m even more, like more exaggerated. Oh. I've got a very crick in my back or my neck. Oh, okay. Like an amazing cave painting. Yeah, I mean, it was a long time ago. Back in the long, long ago. back back before the internet <laughs> was that in the 1800s grandma do kids nowadays how like okay i don't know if anybody knows this this the answer to this question if you are around kids or if you have like asked kids this question to have the answer like do kids now understand that the internet is new like honestly or do they just think that the internet has like always been around <laughs> mm. yeah Izzy yeah actually maybe I could do that maybe I could do water marble decals and just literally like cut a fucking strip of stripes and like fucking do multiple strips <laughs> yeah like, what do you mean there was no internet? Like, is is it a nebulous concept to them? Is it like, you know, does no internet sound like no electricity? Like, <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah, see, and that's part of it too. Like, knowing it and grasping it is two different things. Yeah.
Like, do you know that you know people who grew up with no internet? <laughs> Couldn't watch TV in the car. I still can't watch TV in the car. I ain't never had a car with a TV in it or a van or whatever either. Of course, I have zero car at all right now because cars are ridiculously expensive. And it just fucking doesn't make sense to buy one when I don't drive anywhere. Even though not having one makes me feel like a child. It's fucking absurd. <laughs> microwave cooking for one. I mean, okay, so look, there's nothing wrong with cooking in the microwave, right? It's not suited for everything. Honestly, a lot of times it's easier and tastier to just throw some shit in the oven. But ain't nothing wrong with cooking in the microwave. I ain't mad at you, Jay. <laughs> I didn't get my... I'm still... Yeah, I've still been in the land of cell phones for less than 10 years. I did not buy a cell phone until the first time I took a trip, uh, which happened to be by myself, and I was like, huh, probably should have some means of communications being a giant baby who doesn't drive a battery you live in new york where there's actually decent public transit that still sucks i'm aware but is far more decent than anything i have ever known also high battery how you feeling <laughs> thank you salty or do you prefer cryptid or does it matter make a difference i hope i'm i hope you don't mind also, Buscadon, on. Hello. An ad for a condo that was only like two million bucks. Okay, how about you and Whimsy move to Minnesota instead, and then I can just live in your basement. <laughs> You're a tech bro, so you can just work remotely, and uh, I'll I'll translate all the local dialect. Don't you know? I mean, Minnesota's all right. It, it's, it's all right. I mean, I feel like it is better than a lot of places, but like everywhere sucks. So it sucks cheaper than New York sucks. New York probably has way better food though. I don't know any place where I can get a cheeseburger and pomata around here. God, battery, don't tempt me. Hmm. Oh, okay. Do I want to clean this up more? Maybe just a little bit. I don't know. Minnesota's beautiful. We have a wonderful park system. Winter isn't that bad if you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, Summer's pretty decent, except for when it's really humid and that sucks. Mm. People aren't super assholey, at least to your face. Uh, you know, Minnesota nice. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know where I would want to live if I just, like, had my choice of places to live. Like, I like seasons. You know. Foliage and spring things happening even snow if i don't have to go anywhere and it's not just like fucking step outside and your eyelashes freeze and break into pieces you know winter's not horrible mm. oh man jam jam that's oh yeah i don't think i'm i don't well i haven't been out in a few days i was gonna say i don't think it's over four here yet but Eight thousand, eight thousand a month, or eight eight thousand for how many? That's expensive. I don't care what the period is. That sounds expensive. <laughs> Why not have a fake condo? Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't maybe. I don't know. I've never lived in like a building with other. Well, I say that it's not like I live by myself, but like a building with neighbors where you like share walls and shit. That seems weird. Mm. 
<clears throat> Slightly farther south in Iowa, yeah. Sub zero attempts, yeah. 8,000 a month, holy shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, especially, you know, as, as a, a degen streamer who may or may not occasionally loudly rage. No, I don't know. Like, does anybody actually ever just love where they live, like, in, in totality? Like, if there was any place that was just a thousand percent great, wouldn't everybody just fucking live there and then it wouldn't be great anymore? Like, if some place is, like, really, really great at one thing, it might be really, really expensive. Or if some place is really, really cheap, it's because it sucks. Re reasons. Just some reasons. Ah, yes. Walk. California anything. So expensive. Like, I've only been out there, like, to visit, and I even noticed, like, how expensive things are. Yeah, you like New York City? I, I don't know. I mean, I've never been there, so I can't say. It just seems like there's an awful lot of people there. Like, ideally, I would live in the middle of the forest. But within driving distance to, like, a Target, you know? <laughs> uh, what was... Enjoy. What? Tilda sent <gasps> by jointhrone.com. Oh, shit! Naki! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> My my mouth is instantly watering. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get here, but I could eat one right now. Naki, thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh. Also, Dove, welcome. Michigan. Yeah, I've heard good things about Michigan. Michigan's kind of like Minnesota. I mean, weather-wise, Michigan's kind of like Minnesota, except more snow if you're close to the lake. Um. Buy a double house with you on some land, like maybe though. Okay, because sometimes I don't know, but I I can see my OBS window, so I could see the picture, so I could see that Naki just brought me extremely fancy brownies, extremely fucking fancy, you guys. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm in a I'm I'm in a strange position where I would love to live by myself, but I'm also afraid to live by myself, for like medical reasons. <laughs> so it's like I don't know what to do. No, I have holiday. It's on Seven TV. Okay, you guys, I've been telling you to get Seven TV for eighty seven years. I moved it to make thing room for the things that were only on BT TV. <laughs> And I haven't updated my on-screen chat yet, because I'm a bad streamer, and streamer homework is hard. Uh, but it is still here. I can't believe- did you say that BTTV does not have a place to turn on 7TV like FFZ does? Well, it's by itself also battery, if you don't like FFZ. Yeah, you could, you, I mean, it, of course, if you don't want another extension, that's another story. I'll, I'll have to update my on-screen chat just so the battery can see the things that are on 7TV. <laughs> um. Yeah, housing, I mean, housing just stays wild. Like, there are places where it's more or less wild, but... Like, there's not very many places where it's like, oh, regular, normal, affordable housing. <sighs> this pinky. Okay, so this is what it looks like after pressing the bubble flap. It's like a belly button. <laughs> it's a water marble belly button. Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So battery, but like this discussion actually comes up all the time in math chat about like a streamer commune. 
right? Or like a streamer, like apartment complex that's like only full of cool people. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's some places where you can still get land, like not completely absurd. Depending, and I'm sure there's still like some some deals to be had out there if you like know what the fuck you're doing. But generally, it's like, man. <laughs> Look, Battery, if there's anybody I'd trust to do it, it kind of would be you. <laughs> I could 100% see you being like a real estate mogul on the side. <laughs> mm. Oh, Kalia, yeah. Oh, Dove, yeah, that's, like, so frustrating. So frustrating. Because it's, like, you, you basically see it coming and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> yeah, you need to know a lot and you need to get, like, some not scam contractors. That seems like it would be one of the hardest parts. Why is this so crooked? There. Sorry, you guys. Um, let's do some top coat. You know what? This is nice. This is nice. This is a belly button. These are good thumbs. Everything is fine. Rant, rant, rant. Yeah, no. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. My grandpa built the house that he and my grandma lived in. And then my uncle lives in now. Like, knowing how to do that kind of stuff is pretty fucking cool. <clears throat> yeah, well, it would be cool because, like, not only do you get, well, of course, <laughs> my ass barely could decide what to put on my nails. How would I decide how to build my house? I want the bathroom here. No, I want it over here. Now let's put it put bathrooms in both spots. Wait, now the house has 18 bathrooms. Like, I would be like horrible. Oh my god. It would be great, but it would also be horrible. Yeah, it's got very oceany vibes. Like we talked about a little bit at the beginning, stamping would be really great over this. No, we don't need 18 bathrooms, but more than one would be good. More than one would be good. Say it ain't cilantro. Wait a minute, what a name. Ah, I hate cilantro, but I bet it's really pretty, Mel. Mm. White and blue are very mellow. Yeah. No, 18 bathrooms just because I wouldn't be able to decide where to put one. <laughs> Unless we're talking about, you know, the actual streamer compound, in which case maybe 18 bathrooms is appropriate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, there's only one bathroom here, and it's not usually a problem, but it's slightly a problem on occasion. And every time it's a problem, it's a problem. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Places to live, Sai. <laughs> yeah, well, it would be different if they built places where you share walls with people so that the walls were like thick and soundproof. But to my understanding, that's rarely if ever the case. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Guess what? Everything's expensive and they overcharge you for it. So fucking put it in. <laughs> huh. I don't want to hear my neighbors fucking and I don't want to hear my neighbors doing whatever else and I don't want them to hear me playing video games. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, it's like, it's, uh, it seems to, like, I don't, I don't know anybody. Our community is very, uh, what got stuck in there? Our community is very level-headed and, and everybody seems to think that the streamer commune is a great idea. <laughs> So it must be, right? Mm. Yeah, getting tied up in bed trail mix. I mean, 
Sounds like a good time. Cannot confirm. Perhaps, perhaps you can confirm? <laughs> hmm. The floor. See, yeah, that makes me think of... Have you guys seen that one where it's like a couple of guys? And... Sneeze? The one is holding the other one and they're stomping on the ceiling because their neighbors keep stomping on the floor. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, we just need like a little... Like a, like a, like a, like one of those neighborhoods that's under a homeowner's association, except without the homeowner's association. And all your neighbors are just like the other cool streamers that you already hang out with all the time. And you still probably only hang out in real life like once a year because nobody likes hanging out in person. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> yeah, HOAs are awful. Oh, so you don't have anybody right there in the next unit. That's pretty nice. See, I don't. <laughs> Valerie. Uh, yeah, that's part of it. I'm very, I'm very uncomfortable in person. Always, literally always. All right. Top coat time, you guys. <laughs> the, the rusty bath, though. <clears throat> Once cleanup is complete, I'm going to finish with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. Mm. All right, glomming it on, you guys. We got six days of wear out of our last peel off base coat manicure. Let's see if we can do that again. Is this not fully dry? I got polish on my top coat brush. Fuck. might do a second layer of top coat on this too just to uh I see a couple tiny small bubbles that are trying to rise through so just to smooth those out and also helps with getting really good peelies A Midwest Dreamer meetup. I would be very nervous. I'll confess. I'm I'm not I mean I'm not like this in person, you guys. You might be like, oh Colette, you're full of shit. No, like really. I, <laughs> I'm so, I'm so awkward in person. convention no 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 mm. I really like this I think that you can like, at a glance, I don't think you'd guess that it's four colors, but like at a closer up look, you can definitely tell that it's like multiple colors. <laughs> and Polo right thumb turned out good. Everything, everything is awesome.
Mm. Battery, that's just not true, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in to the meetup. Mm. Just knocked over a bookshelf. Oh, yeah. Everyday occurrence. Can see a little bit. You want to focus your camera? <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Um, couple. See the couple little bubbles on the tip there. Those should those should go away when we add a second top coat. <laughs> Mm. Mm. present evidence you have no you have no proof either I have I have I have knowledge I am secure in my knowledge of my uncoolness you cannot prove otherwise <laughs> oh. I am a little bit chilly I would like to put my sweater back on but Gotta finish my nails first. <laughs> hey, thank you, Salty. Also, I asked a question and then I didn't watch out for the answer to that question and now I realize because I called you Salty again and I'm wondering if I should say cryptid. Okay, stop. That was probably battery. Yeah, see, I've got your number battery. <laughs> so now we've done purple, we've done blue, we've done green. Like, do we want to stick with colors, or do we want to go into, like, combination? What? <laughs> mm. Coolness is stored in nails, but nerdiness is stored in the gargle. Okay, look, Izzy, okay. Tape is collect, and this, and that. <laughs> that whimsy! Okay, look. Y'all come in here sassing me via bits. Maybe I need a sass emote, especially now that oats I don't think is level one anymore. Coletti is very cool. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ray, Ray, thank you. Hmm. MSLP sass. Or a bonk so that I can bonk you. It's <laughs> I have a gun and I have a stab, but I don't want to like murder you guys just for thinking that I'm cool. Like you, you don't get to die for that uh, mistake. You just get bonked. Oh yeah, I was gonna do a bonk, except she was gonna have a sandal after the uh, the June bug incident. Excuse me again, also. Um, Naki, thank you again for the bits. And again, oh, dude, I'm, I'm gonna be sitting here thinking about these, cool. <laughs> these fucking brownies, like, for days, y'all. We'll have to have a taste test on stream when they arrive of, like, each flavor. It's four, okay, they're like four, like, fucking massive, absurd brownies that Instagram refused to shop stop showing to me. I will have you guys know. Yeah, Chonkla. MSLP Chonkla. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's too it's too shiny. Too shiny for the camera. Camera was struggling there for a minute. Oh. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss anybody. 
my, my irritation is tiny and short-lived compared to my appreciation for you guys' generosity and niceness and saying nice things about me. Even if you're wrong, the thought is still very, very kind. <laughs> um, I haven't had any dinner yet. No, I admit you guys think I'm cool. That's all I'm admitting. I I admit that you guys are cool. I you I mean you might be wrong though. Good okay, that now I guess that was literally my stomach. Okay, I've still got a couple bubbles raising to the surface on this one, and I'm not happy about it. But I don't think I want to do a third coat of top coat. <laughs> I've never been wrong once. Battery. I'm quite sure that is factually, provably untrue. I'm pretty sure. Wait, you know what about me and you love me? What? That I'm not cool? It's, it's okay. You guys are allowed to love me even though I'm not cool. I'll accept that also. Okay, whimsy. <laughs> Wrecked, ratioed, plus out. What does elf have to do with being ratioed? Oh. <laughs> also, want that. Colette is awesomely cool and coolly awesome. <laughs> Mel, thank you. Oh my god, I hope I didn't miss anybody. I think I think I got everybody. Izzy, I don't know if I said thank you to you. Y'all are nice. Y'all are nice people. If there's anything about me that's cool, it's my community. <laughs> Peach, thank you. Let appreciation. Yeah, let me see this because I don't know if I know this meme. Okay, why do these people look so familiar, but I don't know what show this is from? Oh my god, oh my goodness, Izzy. How about you meet us in person and let us judge if you're cool or not? No. I bet we're right. No. No. <laughs> Purple, thank you. Fruno, thank you. I, I, can, I can accept that compliment. My name, you know, if there's one part about me that's cool, it's my nails. Cool as ice, icy blue stripes. Oh god, I'm gonna have to think up a name for this shit. Oceany, ocean blue, icy blue. Oh yeah, our friend blue. is running elf and is now second to only Darbian. But wait, which one of your friends? Dude, elf is elf's got jams. That's not exactly how it goes, but like it's close. <laughs> um. Also, good morning, quote unquote question mark for now. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna talk to Battery anymore because Battery is in that mode where every time he says something, he cheers. So I'm just not gonna talk to Battery anymore. <laughs> yeah, Elf like the alien. There's a. Is it a it's, a, it's a Sega game, a Genesis game, I believe. And the fact that you can do these nails is cool. Hence, you are cool. Okay, okay, now you're trying to bring logic into it, N Naki. I don't know. I have one cool skill. That counted, though. Can't be giving me something to respond to see. You absolute rookie. <laughs> okay, look. I can stop all this by stopping stream. Which I need to do anyway, because I'm hungry. And because the manicure is done. Proof of coolness. Pretty cool community you've got here. Good reflection of you. Oh, no. Lyrics, thank you so much for the two months. Oh. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Um, 
We'll do the other blue one. I don't know if we'll do it right after this or if we'll take a break and do some. The other blue one, by the way, if somebody didn't see earlier, is this. Which, I mean, is a very different vibe than this. And I kind of would like to do it so that each one is like a pointy, sharp-looking design on each nail. We'll see. We might also revisit the Muse Polish. Either that one or like with something else. We'll see. There's lots of Water Marble March left. I'm very pleased with what we've done so far. Um... Maybe, I don't know, we already did green. We did purple, we did green. Well, it was green with a little hint of blue and the purple also had a hint of blue. This wasn't exactly particularly like St. Patrick's-y though. Was freaking phenomenal though. Linear hollow on top. A stabby manicure. Um, tomorrow, I think I should be streaming. I'm pretty sure, but it might be late because, uh, family day. Um, let me see what's going on in Twitch land. Mm. 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 Oat started early today. I've been missing Oat's door. There's so many people on. It's so early. Also, uh, Discord, of course, if anybody's not in there, please feel free to hop in. Uh, good night, Punch Buggy. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I don't know where to go. Um, I don't know. You guys want to go to some Death Door or to some Hollow Knight or to some puzzles or to like. Thanks for hanging out, Battery and Whimsy and everybody. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys want to go check out a puzzle? It's a very cozy stream. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this like I, I i wasn't sold on it when we started honestly um i definitely was like oh i don't know but like i really like it you know a little bit of a palate cleanser in between um all right i will send you guys over to puzzles um I just love puzzles is her name. You can call her Granny Puzzles or Gma. I I've been enjoying her streams lately. Um and she does jigsaw puzzles live on stream and she completes them in one sitting. So I've seen her do some super marathon puzzles. Um keeps it super super real some good music and uh just recently applied for partner 
So if you guys like what you see, make sure to, you know, drop a follow and show back up again. Cause I always feel like, you know, what's going on what, what while your application is in process, definitely still matters. It's, you know, leading up to being able to apply and then, you know, keeping, continuing to grow your community and stuff. Um, and I actually found her last month on the Celebrate Black, Black Brilliance carousel and have hung out on there a couple times since. So it's my first time raiding over there. I hope you guys enjoy. I know it's a little bit different, but I mean, I really like puzzles. If I had, if I had space, I would do this. I hope you have a good night and I'll see you next time. <laughs> and of course, if you are in the future on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed as well. Um, please feel free to subscribe here on YouTube or, uh, if you want to join me live, twitch.tv slash Colette oh, MSLP. So <laughs> she's, she's always so uh, enthusiastic. Oh wait, she's got music going. I should finish my outro. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out and thanks for watching. <laughs>